hello guys i will quickly show you how to add your ip address from your royal q trading boot to your binance account so stay with me and before we continue kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video also use the comment section to tell me if this video was of help to you or maybe if you have any other suggestion you want me to make video on maybe you have any other video you would expect from this channel kindly use the comment section to tell me so let's head over so all you need to do is you click on api bind okay so that we can get our ip key so once you click on api once you click on api binding normally we are using binance okay for those of us but if you are using qb exchange it's the same thing so for this binance binding you just click on this small arrow by the right corner once you click on that, if you look, if you look, uh, if you look at the screen here, you see notice. Then after the notice, you see API binding, API group binding. All you need to do is you click this copy at the bottom. You see the API keys. The sorry, you see the IP keys. Okay, so all you need to do is you click this IP, and it has been successfully copied. So right now we'll go to Binance. So this is our Binance. As usual, you click on more at this home page. Once you look up, you see more after liquid swap. Once you click on more, you scroll down, then you are going to see API management before hotels and before Binance NFT. So all you need to do is you click on API management. Previously, we've banded this boat with this Binance account. Okay, but if you haven't, check the description of this video. You are going to see a link to a video that shows you how to bind your API with your Binance account. So, all I will do is to click edit. Okay. So, once I click on edit, I scroll down, you will see IP access restrictions. So I will click on restrict access to trusted IP IP address. So I'll just click on it and I will paste that key I copied. Those long code I copied from Royal Q. Now pay close attention. What this does is when you come in the internet, IP address, each device we use has an IP address, and that IP address is an identification code that each device be it your smartphone be it your uh, laptops or any device you can use to solve the web okay so each of these devices have an ip address and that ip address is a direct link and identification of your own device and your location okay if you want to learn more about ip addresses kindly check google so but what this does is it helps binance to focus on royal q trading boat okay so if there is any alteration in your api settings binance would restrict the asset because you have whitelisted royal q ip address so what it means is you are giving binance a guarantee that you trust this device to trade for you so you really need to understand that so that is what this means and that is why it's is part of your security and binance recently released an update that any api key that is not having any whitelisted ip address will be blocked after some time i think let me check if i can see that news let me check sorry about that so i think um I think uh, Royal Q is acting on this new update from Binance. You can see the news. To improve the security of user accounts, Binance will adjust the enable and margin trading permission rules on the API keys on 2020 July 9th. Okay, so you can see if your API key does not have whitelisted IP address, that is, this API key allows access to any IP address, your selected enable spot and margin trading permission will be void 
will be valid for 30 days. So what it simply means is if you don't have any whitelisted IP address in your Binance API key, after 30 days, automatically Binance engine will disenable this access, which means the boat will stop working and you need to go and activate it manually again. So for that not to happen, you need to go to Royal Queue, just like we've done here. Okay, just like you've got you've done here. We we came here, you click on API binding, then you click on this arrow beside Binance, then we copied the IP address from Royal Queue and we head over to Binance and Let's start afresh for some, some of us that missed it. So once you come to Binance, you click on more, you go down, you see API management, you click on API management. Then you click on this small arrow pointing down and click on edit so that you can be able to add something. Then you go down, you are going to see this red warning meaning this API key allows access from any IP address. This is not recommended. So for, for this account, for this API to be more secure and for this Binance account to be more secured with this API, all you need to do is you click on restrict access to trusted IP, IPs only. So what we need to do here is we paste that same IP address we copied from Royal Q, which I just did, and you click on confirm. So good, after clicking on confirm, all you need to do is you go up here. Why is showing this failed, this IP failed is because I clicked an empty space. What I typed before, I've already verified it and I clicked on it. So that is why it's showing this. So it's not an error at all. All you need to do is you go up again and click on save. So I will get my, my Privates. Boom. You can see edit IP sources. So automatically it has been edited. And you can see that this Binance account API has been restricted to just one trusted IP address. And that is the IP address from Royal Q. So that is just how you do it. Okay, don't forget, check the description of this video. You will see list of videos, both how to manage your trading capitals with Royal Q, how to do your trade settings, and a whole lot of them. Don't forget, hit the like button and use the comment section to share your opinion or suggest any other video you would expect from me. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel, please. Like this video like this video liking this video helps this channel a lot okay so see you